Hi everyone, this is Stu, Pines Bridge OT here. Uh, I have a nice planting OT activity for today. Um, it's for materials I found all around the house, so it's hopefully easy for you to get the, everything together to get going. And it should be fun, involve the, the brothers, the sisters, everybody. It's a good grasping activity, reaching, you know, with different resistance. Uh, you could do it sitting, I'm sitting, you could do it standing. Uh, for endurance. Um, also, they can do it on the, in their wheelchairs. You can do it on their tray. I'm doing it outside. The weather's pretty good today, but you can also do it inside. You know, get one of those outdoor uh, plastic tablecloths or something over, to put over the wheelchair tray or the table inside, you know, so the dirt doesn't get all over the place. But what we're going to do is we're going to plant. And for my planter here today, I have one of those uh, lettuce holders from the supermarket, you know, containers. Nice and easy. Uh, I, and we're going to plant inside rings that we're going to create out of used toilet paper rolls. So it's great. We got our seeds, and we have a squirt bottle I had around the house, and I had dirt left over from a plant last year, an annual. So that was everything worked out well. And you get your scissors too, because we're going to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to grasp here the, uh, the scooper. We're going to scoop out dirt. We're going to create a nice little layer of topsoil inside our container. If you don't have a container like I have, a salad container, you could use easily, you know, one of those plastic shoebox type containers, you know, you find around the house. It could be any size, you know. And what we're going to do is just scoop out a nice layer of dirt to put in there. You know, see we're putting in some dirt, a few inches, you know, three, four inches up, you know, we can put the dirt. And there we go, flat it out, make it make it nice and even again help them out as much as they need help with try and see how independent they could do but here we have you know the dirt in there and then we take our loops that we made out of the toilet paper very simple to cut we just take our scissors have them hold it with the thumb and index finger in opposition create a couple couple inches up you know on the roll and boom just cut it right off pops right out you got your planter little circle there and all we do is put them in we'll put them in a few inches apart inside our container here right into there should be enough push them in so that the dirt comes up to about halfway if you can see about halfway up the container it's maybe a little more even it doesn't matter you know you guys can pick but separate them by a few inches you know four five six i'll put five in you can put six in depending on the size of it how much bigger it is no problem and so we have that and then you could take your seeds, which, whereas this was more of a gross, you know, digging kind of grasp, which you can help them with. Uh, the seeds, more of a fine motor grasp. You're going to rip the bat. You know, I already ripped it open, but I'll show you. Just rip the top open. That's what always, kids always love to rip. And one of two ways you can get the seeds out. You can have them put their hand out. You can help them with it to get a couple out. Or, you know, you can have them reach in with their fingers like that if they're able to. And then just sprinkle two to three in each, you know, sort of circular tube in here. You know, just sprinkle them right in there, right into the tubes that you created. Your little plant, mini planting tubes. Put them right in there. And maybe one in that far one there. There we go. See, so then you have them in there now. And what you want to do at that point is to water them each day. You know, you can take your squirter. Now, this is where you want to really uh, work on them um, proportioning the uh, the grass and using your finger. And you don't want a whole lot of water because it'll, you know, get everything overflowed too wet. Just a nice, I'll show it nice, just a nice little quick squirt in each one each day, maybe two squirts. Just enough so that get it wet, keep it. You know, and do that each day. They can water it so it becomes an activity each day. You know, you can make it real fun. I didn't, with these, I kept them pretty bland. But you can put stickers on them, paint them, use markers, color, make them look really nice. Make it into even more of a fun activity. Um, and, you know, think of all types of things. I, I got green beans. I may try it with green beans. Seeds, you know, they have to be a little further apart. But, anyway, it's a great activity. You know, keeps you busy. What I love about the... 
lid here is you can make your own little portable greenhouse if you use one of these salad containers. Um, and if you don't have that and you're using the plastic, the regular plastic, you could just take clear cellophane wrap, put it on it, and you have kind of a greenhouse effect. You know, that way you can, leave, if you're leaving them somewhere where it's a little cold at night, uh, you get a little greenhouse effect going in with it too. So I hope you enjoy it. You know, good activity. And hope everyone's staying healthy and safe. And hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.